Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about the Hingpatka rainforest and the crisis it is facing today. The Hingpatka Wildlife Sanctuary is one of the largest rainforests in India. It is the only rainforest in Assam that exists today. This rainforest is also known as the Amazon of the East. It hosts a rich diversity of flora and fauna and is spread over about 111 square kilometer. The Dihing Patkai Elephant Reserve is even larger and covers 937 square kilometer around the Dihing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary. The rainforest is home to a broad range of species that include Asian elephant, barking deer, capped langu, Chinese pangolin, Himalayan black deer, Indian leopard, Royal Bengal tiger, and many more. It has been sheltering about 293 species of birds, 42 species of mammals, different species of amphibians, 30 different types of butterflies, 100 different species of orchids, 13 discrete species of endangered species among many other species of flora and fauna. It is also home to the state bird of Assam, Deuha, which is called white-winged wood duck and the state tree of Assam called Olong. The Hing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary is under Nahorkotia Legislative Constituency of India. The last tract of the Rainforest and Elephant Reserve touches lands of three districts Tinsukia, Dibrugar, and Sipsagar. The Dihing River flows through the forest spread over the foothills of the Patkai Hill Range, which is absolutely beautiful. It is this Patkai hill through which Sukafa adventured into Assam in 13th century. Sukafa went on to shape and construct the Ahom dynasty that ruled a significant portion of Assam, especially the present day Upper Assam. This dynasty ruled for about 600 years, which is a long period. While the country is going under serious crisis, especially by the invasion of COVID-19, the National Board for Wildlife, also known as NBWL, silently held meeting and approved open cast coal mining in Seleki proposed reserve forest under the Hingpatkai Elephant Reserve. This is located at Likhapani range of Digpoi forest. This approval was gifted to the Northeastern Coal Fields, a unit of Coal India Limited. The National Board for Wildlife functions under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Surprisingly, the Coal India Limited performed illegal mining for 16 years beginning from 2003 in the Seleki proposed reserve forest. This clearance also allowed to carry out widespread drilling and hydrocarbon testing. This environmentally hazardous drilling will be carried out in at least seven sites of the national park. The controversial decision is considered a serious blow to the existence of the forest in a time when forest cover is vanishing very fast in the country. Forest Survey of India published a report namely State of Forest Report in 2019. As per this report by Forest Survey of India, Assam has only 3.6% very dense forest left. Consequently, thousands of people in the state have started protests against the arbitrary decision of the government. The protests initially rolled back in social media, but as the lockdown is vanishing, 
many people are going to the wildlife sanctuary to register their protest against the decision of the government people fear that the coal mining will significantly contribute in destructing the forest additionally activists conservationist and student organizations are organizing protests in different districts of assam notably attack on the treasured rainforest commenced long back thousands of trees are felled by the timber smugglers the coal mining if carried out will result in series of serious repercussions on the ecosystem of the region which is very fragile this also destroy the existing elephant corridor in the region which eventually will give a huge setback to the elephant habitat adverse consequences on the flora and fauna are immeasurable the hingpatkai rainforest has been consuming extraordinarily high quantity of carbon dioxide or co2 which is immensely essential not only for the survival of diverse species but for us humans have quest to extinct scores of species and have pushed millions of other species on the brink of extinction this is the time we need massive afforestation more than ever before not an ecological destruction that is ordered on the dehing patkai wildlife sanctuary in the form of open cast coal mining